Hello everybody, this is C.J. Wiley with more Adventures on the Road. I'm touring uh, downtown uh, Charleston, South Carolina. I've been down at some of their beaches today and uh, found a really cool park where uh, the rivers intermingled with the, uh, the ocean. It's a pretty cool little historic city here, Charleston. Lots of, uh, lots of uh, Civil War stuff happened here. And, uh, Savannah, Georgia is my next stop. It's also very historic. So anyway, I wanted to uh, talk today some more about deep level pool, like how to really become a pool playing machine. Because the thing about it is like our bodies and minds and eyes really aren't made to play pool. So there are some little tricks you have to know, some technical uh, systems to be able to go from having <clears throat> a body, mind, and uh, eyes that are limited when it comes to pool, to being able to focus and direct all of your senses and your body positions uh, so that you can uh, play great, you know, as, as well as you want to play. The trouble with not having high level fundamentals is you're always going to reach a level even if you practice uh, two or three hours a day, I have people coming to me that's been doing that for over 10 years and never get any better, you know, and that's just sad because uh, really once you build a, a good foundation, you should be able to improve. You know, it might not be noticeable, but, but even with myself, of course, I'm teaching a lot, but I learn something every day. Every time I teach somebody, I learn something <clears throat> uh, that I could apply to my own game if and when I ever decide to, to dedicate myself to actually playing. I keep saying I'm going to, and I'll get to playing pretty well, and then I won't play for like five or six days and not even realize it. So uh, anyway, what I'm going to talk about today is how to really connect to the game. I always said I used to write a lot about pool like 20, even 30 years ago, about going from the transition – of playing the game of pool to the game playing through me. And that's where uh, I talk about pool being more like self-expression, like an art form. You know, I'm involved with martial arts and was a teacher for 24 years. Uh, eight different styles is what, uh, what I was trained in, plus 18 weapons. And the weapons weren't like to duel with, like you didn't like duel with swords and, and stuff like that. They improve your technique and your, uh, your open-handed uh, defense and sometimes offensive abilities. So it's more like uh, swords are more like uh, adding weight, like ankle weights or something, except the blade of the sword <clears throat> conforms to a part of your hand so that when you move the sword, you do it with your body and especially your hips rather than just your arm. Because some swords are uh, are pretty heavy. Like I have one in the back of my vehicle right now that's eight pounds. And I've used it for many years for stroke development. And uh, I don't have time to get into it the first session with somebody. But if somebody usually, you know, if they take the three-section uh, package, the, the three-session package, <laughs> can't talk. I just ate some incredibly good chicken soup at this Mexican restaurant. It was so good that these people were looking at me uh, a couple tables down that, that had just come in and started to make me feel a little strange. Like, uh, you know, did they know me from pool or, you know, and they wanted to ask me uh, how the soup was because it not only did it taste incredibly good, but it looked incredibly good. It was so good that. I intentionally just ate half of it and saved the other half so I could eat it tonight because I will be so thankful <laughs> to myself. That's how I go into the future. I'll, uh, I'll say something I really like and, uh, you know, put it off till later. And then when I get it, it's like a gift from the past. <laughs> anyway, back to the pool. Connecting to the game where the game plays through you. See, when I talk about connecting the game to the game, I'm not just talking like kind of like a, a general far out uh, 
concept here. I'm actually plugging into the game like you would plug something into uh, the wall, like a, uh, a cord or something. Because uh, the more you're connected, <clears throat> the more that you're going to uh, feel the shots as well. So your cue ball control is greatly enhanced by uh, how well you're connected. And, and, and I'm talking about the alignment, the position that you get into before you go down on the shot. That's the one that most people don't have quite right. So as they go down on the shot, their subconscious is making up for these uh, slight fundamental errors in positioning so that, again, the body won't cooperate so that you can keep your eyes on the line of the shot the whole time. And uh, people really don't realize it. I pointed out, and, and when I check the alignment, I show the uh, player, uh, it's just undeniable that their, their alignment's usually four to six inches off, <clears throat> and they don't know. Again, something that's fantastic about the human mind and eyes is if something isn't quite right, our mind is super quick to make it look as well as possible. And that's really advantageous in emergency situations, you know, where something happens unexpectedly and uh, it's not like your whole world turns upside down. Your mind will adjust and uh, give you the ability to uh, escape or get out of that situation or, uh, you know, do some sometimes uh, supernatural things, you know, especially with the adrenaline flowing, you know, and uh, being able to, you know, move quickly to, to save somebody from getting hit by a car or, uh, you know, and again, the senses heighten in those situations. And I try to uh, use all the things that, <clears throat> that our bodies and minds naturally do. And I use that in my pool pre-shot routine and going down on the ball um, until it's grooved. But be, like I said, one thing that uh, our mind and eyes, we, we focus on one thing really well, uh, but it dilutes, for instance, uh, Blind people can, can hear better and feel better. When your senses are diminished, the others will increase. And when I'm going down on a, on a pool shot, I go from visually uh, aiming and plugging in and aligning and all that kind of stuff. Once I get down on the ball, I go into a, uh, a feel and touch um, focus. I should say. So when I'm plugging in <clears throat> to the game, I'm doing it by plugging in to the cue ball and the object ball because those are the, uh, the primary, you know, the cue ball is the primary target. The, uh, the object ball is the secondary target, which I really more consider it an alignment target. And then the pocket is your destination target. So the primary target of the cue ball and the destination target of the pocket are the most important, and uh, it, it's all relative to how you align and strike uh, the object ball. So many pro players have been asked about, you know, aiming systems. <clears throat> most of them will say they don't use one, or they're not aware of one, or they just use a ghost ball, which is basically saying they use their imagination, or some people use fractional aiming. Um, you know, there's uh, pivot aiming, there's, you know, I know how to do all that kind of stuff, but the, uh, but the main thing that is the foundation, whatever you're aiming at, is your feet. So, like, if you're going to shoot a pistol at a high level, you want to position your feet first. Then you're aware of the target, and uh, you bring the gun to your eye line, and, and then you shoot uh, where you're looking. And... You know, everybody shoots a gun like that, but when they start playing pool, they start looking at the target first. Because when they approach the shot, they look at the cue ball, the object ball on the target line, and they uh, and they uh, try to position their feet to that line and then go down on the shot and hopefully make the ball. The problem is, <clears throat> when you align your eyes first, that's like trying to build the upper level of a building first. And then the foundation second. Everybody knows you have to build the foundation first. So whether you're shooting a pistol, 
playing golf, you know, every golfer you ever see is going to position their feet first. They align to the shot and where they align to and where they aim are two different things. And you'll find that in, in uh, most sports too at the highest level. But nobody really talks about it in pool. I do a lot and I have been for a long time. There's a few others that, that talk about uh, these high level things. Ronnie O'Sullivan in uh, in England, the snooker champion, he's, he's one of the greatest ball strikers of all time. And somebody sent me a video of him talking about some of this kind of stuff and that he couldn't, uh, he thought it was ex extremely hard to hit the exact center of the snooker ball, the cue ball. So he doesn't try. He offsets his tip. And that's what I do. That's what I call the touch of inside. The touch of inside isn't inside English. It's just cueing the ball slightly to the inside. And the more you cue it to the inside, the more the object ball is going to cut. So, you know, for, for balls that, that have any distance, I go over just slightly, like a hair, where nobody could really tell. As the ball, as the object ball gets closer, you have to do it more. And, uh, and that's how I create the angles. <clears throat> Again, when I plug into the shots, I either plug in center of the cue ball to the center of the object ball, or on my cut shots, I align the center of the cue ball to the edge of the object ball, which would be like a half ball hit. That's what we call it. You can make every cut shot on the pool table starting out with a center edge alignment. You can make all the other shots that are straight in and have less angle with a center to center alignment. But what that does is it connects you, like literally connects you to the cue ball and the object ball the same every time. So then you're able to triangulate the angle. See, that's what I do that's such a huge advantage compared to people that just get on the shot line and try to hit it. They've got one line, I've got two. So when you've only got one line, you can't triangulate anything. You have to have two. So my line on, uh, let's say I'm, I've got a slight cut shot, uh, I'm gonna align center to center first. And then when I go down, allow my mind to use that reference or baseline to, uh, to triangulate the angle. It may not say, sound like a big deal, but it's a huge deal. And, and when you start thinking about it in other sports, games, even things you do for a living, even mechanics. I was training a mechanic, and he immediately knew what I was talking about as far as what he does. And he always has a reference or a baseline for many of the things that he did, you know, so there's, there's lots of analogies and that's what I also like to do when I'm teaching is find some things that you're already really good at, natural at, and then I'm going to build a bridge from what I know about pool to what you know about something else. It could be like shooting a pistol. I train a lot of, uh, people that are hunters and uh, into self-defense. Uh, I've trained, you know, I got a guy that's with the Department of Defense and Homeland Security that are friends of mine now that love pool and uh, and they really understand the pistol uh, analogy. And uh, then I've got golfers and even a carpenter. I can teach somebody the pool stroke uh, using a hammer because the wrist motion is exactly the same. Now, you may think it's backwards from what pool is, but if I show you, you would be able to see right away that it's really not. Your wrist always releases down, like you're hammering a nail, like you're casting a fishing lure, or uh, using an ax or anything like that, or throwing a ball. Your, your wrist moves best going down. So uh, that's the same with pool. Whether you're watching Dennis or Colo, see, they all hold the cue different, but they're doing the same thing with their hand. They're using it as a, uh, like a hinge or a lever, but there's ways you can get more power with less motion. And that's another thing that I like to teach is, is get people where their alignment's really good and then where they've got more precision and power in their pool stroke. So anyway, uh, again, what you do to connect to the game and try this you know just take an hour and just on every single shot first connect center to center then create the angle once you get to a half ball hit which is the center of the cue ball to the edge which is just it's a half a cut but that's where you align to make all your cut shots so either align center to center or center to edge plug into the game 
so that your subconscious starts to really get involved with the pool table and the perfect geometry of the game. There's something about our minds when we connect to, uh, you know, if you look at architecture and stuff from, from thousands of years ago, you know, we've always been fascinated with uh, geometric uh, symbols and figures and from the pyramids to, I mean, there's all kinds of different uh, occultic uh, symbols, you know. You can take a tour of Washington, D.C. and see bunches of them, <laughs> so, or really any of these uh, major cities, especially, uh, or the uh, or the country uh, allegedly started over with New York, and you know, Washington, D. Was Washington D.C. was originally named Rome, and uh, the Tigris River was actually, uh, and you know, there's seven hills in um, Washington, D.C. and Seven Hills in Washington, or in uh, Rome. It, you know, it, it's fascinating when you get into the, the real history of this country. But uh, it's also fascinating to get into the highest level of fundamentals in pool. So anyway, I hope you uh, try this because I'm going to add to it and start telling you how, when you connect to the game, how you can start reaching these high levels. Just like when you get into that zone once in a while and you play your best pool. I know the next day you're going to have a, a situation where you may not remember how to play. It's a weird feeling, but uh, I know a lot of people have it because they aren't connected to the game. So sometimes it just kind of automatically happens in the subconscious, uh, you know, you just feel real good or just, you know, some things are going well, you're, you're comfortable. But under pressure, that's when it leaves you. So uh, start connecting to the game center to center or center to edge before you go down and create your angle. And what you'll start finding is you don't have to aim anymore. You can just use your instinct like the champion players do. And uh, the foot position is very important. If you go to uh, www.masteringpocketbillards.com, I have a section called Precision Pool Drills where I show different drills to, uh, you know, increase your power and precision with your stroke. And also, uh, I show how this stance is, is created. Because once you have the foot position right, it opens up a whole nother world and you can become a pool playing machine. Anyway, this is CJ. If you enjoyed this, I appreciate you uh, liking, sharing, and uh, becoming a member of, of my private group at uh, cjwiley.com. And uh, I'm going to finish my little tour of Charleston before the sun goes down. I got about 15 minutes. So anyway, till next time, I'll talk with you then.